in Hernando County are returning to the classroom. And there's new technology being used to stop school threats. Eight on your side, Beth Rousseau, joining us live this morning in Hernando County. Uh, they're using AI technology to keep students and staff safe. Hey, Beth. Hey, Avery and Chris. And so we have students that are starting to head on to campus here at Hernando High School for that first day of school, not only at the front entrance, but at all the entrances. There are security cameras focused on them. They've recently been upgraded, and that's what allowed this new software that detects guns as soon as they're displayed. School hallways in Hernando County are getting safer with the help of AI technology. I had I had goosebumps, right? Jill Renahan, the director of Safe Schools, says the Zero Eyes software system allows security cameras to detect guns as soon as they're displayed. It can take our response time from minutes, and in some cases it's been hours before there's been an actual response, down to seconds. In video simulation, you can see how the program works. When the camera picks up a firearm, the image is quickly vetted by someone with high-level military training. Within seconds, an alert is sent to district, school, and law enforcement leaders with the weapon's exact location on campus. As officers respond, the system continues to update officials every time the weapon is spotted on camera. It takes them from being just this passive receptor to a proactive uh, device for us. So Renahan gave me a closer look at the system. It's got the actual camera name, it's got the, it, the picture, um, and the GPS coordinates. District leaders launched the program on a limited basis last year. The monitoring costs $200,000 annually, which Renahan says is a small price to pay for student safety. If we stop one, it's totally worth that cost. So as more than 23,000 students get back to class here in Hernando County today, district leaders say that they're hoping to have this system installed at 15 campuses by the end of the month. And then by the start of second semester, they want it at every campus throughout the district. We're live in Hernando County, Beth Russo, eight on your side.